Hey guys, welcome back. They keep us safe, they keep us secure, they uh, keep other people safe even when we're really not paying attention. We all have them, we use them, and if you don't, you really should. They're gun locks. And these usually come with uh, any gun you buy, at least in the state of Kentucky. I have several of them, and I use them on all my firearms. This came with my Savage Arms Model 64, and what we're doing today is I'm going to do some strength testing on one of these. I'm going to put it through some... Uh, a little bit unusual uh, uh, strength and abuse tests. I'm going to, uh, the first test I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up with a map gas torch for about 30 seconds. That's about 3,000 degrees for about 30 seconds. We're going to see if the body can withstand. All the tests we're doing today are going to be done on the body portion and not this other part because we know that you can get through that probably with any pair of bolt cutters or whatever. But this thing's brand new, never been taken out of the package. I'm going to put it up. We're going to heat it up, then I'm going to shoot it with the gun it came with, and uh, we're just going to see what it does. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so it survived that test. Uh, I had that torch on it for about a minute straight, and it really did melt all of that plastic on the outside. But the metal itself is not damaged. It was blackened by the melting stuff, but it is just fine. The lock works fine. I was able to take it off and put it back in a couple times. It still works just fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot it with the very gun that it came with. I'm going to shoot it with my Savage Model 64 that you've seen in plenty of other videos of mine. And I'm going to use some uh, brass cased bullets. I'm going to use some uh, it, it's, uh, full metal jacket. And uh, I'm going to shoot it probably two or three times and uh, see how well it stands up. Alright, so we have our Savage Model 64. We've got three uh, full metal jacket uh, copper rounds in here. And uh, we're going to shoot at our lock. Hopefully all these bullets will cycle, they're kind of old. That's three. Let's take a look. Okay, so it did remarkably well. Here it is. It actually looks like it fared quite well. Against it. But, uh, it, <laughs> I can't get it open anymore. The uh, front of it is locked shut because of one of the bullets hitting it and uh, I can't get it off the fence. So uh, I'm gonna take a few more shots with it. I'm gonna consider its failure point, the point in which the top of this flies off, the top, the point in which the lock actually gives way. So I'm gonna fire a few more shots at it and see what it does. Okay, so I decided to step up the power by about tenfold. We got the 20 gauge shotgun, you've seen it before. And uh, I think I'm probably gonna bust it off. Wow. 
Wow, that is really surprising. After six shots directly with a shotgun, that's the result. It actually didn't break. I just cut it. But um, after seven, five or six shots with the 22 and six direct impacts with birdshot out of a 20 gauge shotgun, it actually withstood. So it's safe to say uh, gun locks are pretty much impenetrable to anything that is subsonic. And that's actually very surprising. I feel a lot safer having these on my guns now. Uh, but uh, that that's pretty cool that it's survived that well. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the subs you guys give me and all the views. If you got any questions, put those in the comments bar below. Uh, you can visit us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash the hot and fuzzy. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep those subs coming, and I'll talk to you guys soon.